welcome to another episode of Werewolf Effects. We're going to be reviewing the 160 scale injection machine from Bandai. At Bandai, I guess. So this kit here is very different from the other kits I normally build myself, um, or have built, and I'm pretty sure will be different from the majority of any other kits I will be showcasing on my channel. And uh, this definitely is it. So this year, just getting into the box art, we have actual images or actual fo photos of the injection machine at the at the company. We have it in the uh, front view and the back view. All the cave, all these tubes and wires and everything moving about it. All of this mess. I'm gonna try and see if maybe I can replicate some of this to give it a little bit more realistic, I guess. We have the side here, doesn't have too much, just the name again, Choking Hazards. Over here on the other side, we have photos of the completed model kit and the front and back view. And some information down here, not sure what any of it says, and down over here, I don't really know what it says either, so for those of you who can read this, uh, I would like to know what it is, uh, you know, just out of curiosity. So that's it for the box. And for moving on to the kit itself, well, that's, that, that, that's it, that's literally all it is. <laughs> you, you can check the box itself and there's nothing else except for that, the water, the water slides, the uh, stickers. And, of course, the manual. So, this here is everything that you get in this box. It's a really small kit, um, but it's still pretty cool to have. So, moving on here to the instructions. You just need only one sprue, which, well, we got it. And then from there, it's just a page and a half's worth of information here on how to assemble it, which is relatively simple, so it's not too, too crazy there. Uh, we have the um, stickers here just being on where it's going to go on the side panels here and everything like that. A little bit of red. Some of this, if you want, you can just try and go ahead and paint it yourselves instead. And others, I mean, just, yeah. <laughs> so, for the most part, I think I'm just going to put the stickers on. I, I hate stickers. I don't like them, to be honest. But, eh, I'll just stick it on for this one. This is just a small little thing. So, just to have a little novelty thing just to just put on your desk, maybe, or office you know on a whatever kind of display base you have or wherever you display these and stuff that's where i'll probably just keep mine so looking at a closer look you can see that it's got some cables here going on the bottom we got a little hatch here like um, i guess a maintenance hatch the bottom here for i guess in case like any spills i don't know we have a base there so it's not too much to see there moving over here we actually have the we have a part here i do not know what it is i will try to look online and see if i can find any information on what this actually is uh, that this machine is going to be injecting i'm not sure if maybe it's like the exact same thing that's here or not and i don't think so it's probably just another kind of kit i just don't really know what uh moving on over here we have some of the panels on the side these, I believe, are the extruders, that are what injects the plastic into the metal injection, the, the metal plate. I'm not sure the names for these parts, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, we have, I guess, like a ventilation fan or something here, just to the heat. We have the control panel here, where they're going to be putting in all the commands that need to be put. And we have the face plates here, uh, where some of these are going to go. And then just the wall, and that's, that's all there is to it. And since this video is so short, because I mean, it's just one little thing... I'm going to make uh, this one a, a part one kind of video, just a one part video. There's no more than two or anything like that. So after this, I'm going to cut off and I will re review the finished product when it's already done and everything. So probably do it now. <laughs> Eight hours later. So here we are with the finished injection machine. And this only took relatively 30 minutes just to build as a straight build along with applying the decals, which are just stickers actually. Just give a little roundabout here. So there's nothing else to this kit. It's just as you see it here. Um, the stickers, like I said, I, I just don't like the stickers at all. And I know that there's a lot of other model makers who just do not like the stickers either. In some cases, I guess we do make exception to them. In some cases, they have their uses. Uh, but in this case, they don't really have too much use. But I mean, hey, it's just for a little thing like this. It's not a biggie, at least to me, it isn't a, a big deal. I'm probably going to go in sometime later, not now though, and I'll probably paint in the little details that go inside the little control module there, 
Maybe I might put in the little plaque. I might paint the plaque in as well, which by the way says um, Bandai Hobby Center 2006, which is when this kit I believe came out, uh, or it should have come out. And just pretty much all I'm gonna be doing there. I might add some extra wires and tubes here. I may do that, I'm not sure. That'll be like a future video, future update later down the line and whatnot. Um, but for now, it's just gonna stay as it is and I like it. Like I said, it's, some, it's nothing like a Master Grade Sazabi Verka, which by the way is one of my absolute favorite kits that I have. I will review God knows when, but I'll review it sometime in the future. Uh, you know, it's nothing like a perfect grade kit, you know, a Stray, the Astray or like the Exia, Grandpa Gundam, Zaku, whatever and all that. Mega size, or even some of the more popular high grade kits and whatnot. It's just a simple little kit, little um, little knickknack to put on your desk, put somewhere in your room maybe, just to have some kind of little subtle nature to it. It's not you know out there. It's not imposing. It's not there. Whatever. That's just like the first thing you're gonna see when you walk in. But it's something a little nice, a little subtle to walk into, and it's I don't know. There's something about that that I like on that. So I'm. Um, I'd say I'm fairly satisfied with this kit. I mean, if y'all if y'all want to pick one up, I do recommend it if you just want to have a little something. And I guess it's also something to get started in with model kits. It's super basic. You only have one one little sprue, so it's not a big deal there. You don't have to worry too much on articulations and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool, you know, what whatnot. Uh, so this is the only thing that pretty much moves, like I said there. This seems to slide back and forward. I'm not sure if that's supposed to. Um, but there's that and other than that that's all there is here so just you can see in there I still don't know what the heck that thing is whatever this um, mold injection thing is supposed to be I'm not sure what it's gonna be molding here um, but it's still pretty neat to have so anyway that concludes this video uh, just a heads up and I'll probably say it in the next video because I'm gonna be reviewing the master grade I'm gonna just upload this one real quick I'm not gonna take my time on that um, upload the Master Grade Barbatos and just as a heads up the 1-1000 Polar Lights USS Enterprise will have to be a little bit delayed only because I gotta wait for the decals to come in so I can't finish the kit so the video cut out earlier I'm just I snipped it over here just real quick I'm not gonna redo the whole thing anymore I've already done this like four or five times I'm sorry um, but yeah so the USS Enterprise ended up just gonna have to wait on that because I'm still missing the decals and I want to get the decals before I start wiring everything. So I don't know when that'll come in. As uh, far as I know, the decal sheets are supposed to be coming in this month, but we shall see. In the meantime, y'all have an outstanding day. Take care of yourselves. Uh, stay healthy. And this is Lone Wolf signing out.